today is Sunday, May 13th, 9.34 a.m., Mother's Day. Don't forget to call mom. All right, here we are today. We're going to maiden, remaiden our Axon Phoenix. This is a rebuild, hence why I'm calling it the Phoenix, because uh, I salvaged all the parts, all the electronics out of the old one and put her into this one. Uh, winds seem to be about a steady five miles an hour, maybe gusting up to seven or ten. So uh, we'll see how she goes today. Okay, one more check of control surfaces. Up on the right, up on the left. Elevator up, elevator down. Rudder right, rudder left. Throttle. Onboard camera should still be recording, I think. Got a little bit more weight on the nose. So let's go ahead and put that back to neutral. Winds are still steady five, probably gusting to 10 now, probably even higher than that up in elevation. All right, takeoff runway on this guy wasn't that long, which is actually kind of cool. We're gonna take off, bank left, and make a circuit. All right, let's go for it. Bottle up. It's a mistake altitude here. Start our turn. Turn this way. Now we're gonna be going with the wind, so she's gonna pick up speed. Let's go full throttle because we're gonna turn into the wind here. Initiate the turn. Throttle back a little bit, try and lose some altitude. Initiate a turn, lose some altitude, and try and bring her in for a landing. And you got it trimmed out fairly well. We need a rudder for turn here, that's pretty good. Alright, let's straighten up over here. Let's get over to the right side of the field. Make a long sweeping turn over here. We gotta come in from this side to land against the wind. Go out a little bit. Appreciate the turn. Cut the throttle. Start losing some elevation here. I'm almost completely off of the throttle. Okay, that's no throttle whatsoever. And a little bit of up pressure. And successful landing. All right. Our landing gear snapped off again, but that's thanks for that two-sided sticky tape. And the belly was already wet on the second application. So actually, I think that's what I want my landing gear to do. It eases the landing, and if it's a little too rough, it snaps off. No harm to the plane. And that 6.4 APC prop is definitely adequate enough. Just uh, recover our removable landing gear here. Uh, none worse for the wear. And our plane, all still intact. Excellent. I'd say that was a successful flight. All right, let's return to the hangar. 
Hi everybody, John here at my Axon. Whoops, wait a minute. Hi everyone, here's my new Axon, which I flew in a previous video you saw. Uh, this is pretty much built verbatim per Ed's uh, construction videos. Um, this time I went with the 3M double-sided sticky tape and regular tape to hold everything together instead of hot gluing it as I did before. Uh, that's going to make for much easier repairs in the future because uh, when I had the hot glue I had to cut away the damaged portion and, and just keep gluing on additional repairs which was not exactly optimal. While it worked it uh, didn't quite lead up to what I was, I was going for in the long run. So that's just basic followed his uh, construction details to the ladder. Uh, went with the 55 inch wing this time instead of the 60 I had on the old plane. Uh, this, while the 60 inch wing flew great, it was a little difficult to land. Uh, it just seemed like it wanted to keep gliding forever. Uh, and especially with the high winds we seem to have over here in Houston on a regular basis, this 55 inch wing seemed to work much better. Uh, standard arm and wing construction, uh, five inch cord with a two, half, two and a half inch control surface. Uh, the taping scheme I went with was just a regular red, red, white, and blue. I put a little bit of an angle to the tape to give it a little dimension. Uh, on the underside, I have one aileron red, one aileron green to help with uh, line of sight flying for uh, orientation. Uh, also went ahead with one of Ed's improvements, and that's putting the uh, gift card in the tube in a cross-section manner to give it more rigidity. And I also went ahead and put it in the tail as well because I felt that needed a little more rigidity as well. Um, <clears throat> bamboo skewers over here on the vertical riser to give it some stability because I found it would wag a little bit in the prop wash. So it's just to make it a little bit more stable back there. Um, power plant wise, we've got a Turnigy 2200 kV motor turning a 6x4 APC prop, uh, which I, I really enjoy. It gives it, it's more than enough uh, thrust and power to get the plane, plane in the air and keep it there. So I'm going to stick with that. I, I see no need to put a bigger prop on this. Um, that's connected with a 30 amp uh, ESC, motor, uh, ESC to the motor and controlled with a Spectrum Orange receiver I have here. Uh, landing gear is a design I'm trying out. Uh, I found uh, on the two flights I did on both landings, it snapped off. Uh, it's only held in place with the same 3M double-sided sticky tape, uh, a couple little strips not completely covered so that uh, in the rough landing it was able to break off without causing any damage to the fuselage tube. I think what I'm going to try on my next version of this landing gear is I'm going to uh, increase the width between the tires and see if that won't act as a little bit more of a, a, a spring uh, shock absorption for rough landings. And I'll probably also go with a slightly thicker wheel that will work better in the grassy fields I tend to fly in. Um, on the front here, I was using my dice cam from hobbyparts.com to capture the onboard footage. Uh, it's 720p, uh, not as high quality as a GoPro, but adequate enough for onboard footage. Um, battery I was using was a 2200 Nanotech, and I made this little trough with another gift card to hold my additional weight on the nose, uh, which turned out to be about two and three quarter ounces of additional lead weight to get the center of gravity right. And what I can do now is I'll remove that lead weight for when I add my FPV gear. And what I have here is basically, I guess you want to call it a FPV trough. <laughs> I've got my CCD board camera in the front, and then on the back side I've attached my OSD, and then my GPS unit will simply Velcro to a spot on the wing, and then I've got the uh, transmitter on top, and this is all connected via Velcro into the top pod and then my battery lead will be fed down below to an auxiliary battery down on the lower deck. And I've, I've set it up this way so that I could move it from plane to plane because I'll want to use it in the Axon as well as the Peace Drone. Another thing I took advantage of was mentioning on the boards, I went to my local Ace Hardware and picked up some of these uh, marker flags. And it's actually 1.5 millimeter music slash piano wire. And they make excellent push rods, better than that 16 gauge the steel wire I was using it doesn't bend quite as easily so it, especially in longer runs like I have it over here on the rudder it uh, stays in shape much better than that stainless steel wire so that's it and um, hopefully not too long uh, now that I have my fat shark goggles 
I'll be doing some true FPV flight and look forward to sharing that video with you guys. Thanks for watching.